So hello everybody, happy Monday. This is Patricia Elizabeth with your ISA Light Code Meditation Monday. Hello beautiful, I'm oh, so happy to see all of you here. So today's going to be around loneliness. So this morning I woke up and I'm like, what should I be doing for today ISA Light Code Meditation? Like what does my tribe what do they need? How can I how can I show up and serve them <laughs> in a greater way? And my guys were like, loneliness. What do you mean loneliness? Like, is it my loneliness? Is it like everybody? They were like, both. So I'm going to be doing some powerful energy clearing around loneliness. But before, first, I want to talk a little bit about the energies, if that's okay with all of you. Because right now, there's a lot of there's collective energies. There's also a division that's happening, and it's happening more and more. And I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, because I'm feeling for some of you, it's going to make you feel better. Uh, because then you're going to be, well, okay, this is why it's happening. So, uh, yeah, when people fall off, it's allowing us to track higher vibration friends, people who are the same frequency as us. Um, I'm happy you're here, my love. Uh, so cool you get to travel. <laughs> Hopefully you're not stuck in a hotel. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so right now collectively, and I'm sure a lot of you have noticed more and more, there's a division that's been happening. So for several years, especially in the U.S., and it's happening now in Canada, and I think it's happening all over the place. It started with politically. Before political party, they had their own views, but then if you didn't, if for most part, okay, I know there's people always extreme, but for most part, people were respectful of your political opinions, okay, and this is not a debate, this is not, okay, I just want to explain a little bit what's going on, but in the last several years, it's been more, I'm right, you're wrong, and like, you know, it's, it's creating a division, and we're seeing that more and more, we're seeing that with either people are getting wealthier and wealthier, or people are getting poorer and poorer, the middle class is starting to really fall off, it's you're either one or the other, and please do me a favor, and choose fully abundant over lack. I mean, it's your decision, but start by like, you know, say I'm fully abundant, um, once again. And now with COVID, a lot of people is like, you know, there's that division. If you don't get the job, I'm not going to want to see you. I won't spend time with you. And for some people, they go even as far as saying, I'm going to cut our friendship. I mean, there's a very well-known actress, I think you all know um, Jennifer Aniston, she came out not long ago with several, um, basically saying her friends that do, who are, are, chose not to get vaccinated for whatever reason, she cut their friendships, okay? And then we have the other flips. We have the people who are not getting vaccinated, and if you're getting vaccinated, you're no longer my friend because, you know, we don't have the same point of view and blah, 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 blah. So once again, this is a division that is happening. But for us, I know my what part of my role is to raise the consciousness is to unite instead of divide. For me, I don't care which point of view you are. I respect everybody. But I know for a lot of people, that's not happening. I've had you know the people that got the vaccine because if not, they're going to lose their jobs and etc. Okay, this is not a debate what's good or what's bad. So what's going on for a lot of us because of all this division is for me personally, I choose not to get vaccinated. Okay, my mother knows better to try to like talk me into it. We just agree we're going to disagree in a respectful way. But Sally, I have some people close to me because I'm choosing not to get them. And we're not even in the same country <laughs> because I'm choosing not to. They're cutting their friendships with me. And I know I'm not the only one. Or for some people, some of you could be the reverse because you're getting vaccinated. People are choosing to cut their friendship with you. I've seen boat, boat flips. But I think it's happening more for if you're not vaccinated, then develop, but still, it doesn't matter, right? So because of all of this, for some of us, all of a sudden, our inner circle looks either totally bare, or we're down to like, you know, maybe a few, a few friends, and that's it. Uh, for some of us, this is happening on an energetic level. So there's not even any words that are being said. Because once again, as you raise your energetic vibration, as you start to up level, you start to ascend, you start to grow, you start to go to your next level, you raise your energetic vibration. Sadly, what happens quite often, people around you are either staying where they are, and at some point, you're just growing apart, right? Because if you have somebody that stays here, 
and at some point you're here but you keep going up at some point energetically you're, you're just going to fall off I know for me that's happened a whole lot in the last several years uh, bonjour my bed that's happened to me quite quite a bit um even in the last three four months okay and this division is not just going on for v jab or not jab it's going on I know so I'm part Native American so Native Americans I think we all know that you know okay you know you have the color and your race you also have the language it, back home in Canada there's a big division is happening between French and English and I'm both okay on my dad's side of the family I'm pretty much almost pure Acadian except the native blood that I have on that side on my mom's side I'm part Acadian and I'm part um, Irish English and Scottish so I have both so but back in Canada, I was never fully accepted based on that base until I moved in Toronto. Toronto people just didn't care. <laughs> Montreal, it was like, you're English. No, I'm Acadian. Like, you know, why do I need to choose between like, and for a lot of us, we're, we're, you may be feeling you need to choose one side over the next. But you just, your soul just wants to be you. Acadian is what we call the French people where I grew up. So New, Br the province of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and PI were called Acadians. Okay, that's, we're not Quebecois. Quebecois are people who are from Quebec, the province of Quebec. You have franco ontarian they're the French people in Ontario. Uh, just like New Orleans has the Cajuns, well, they're actually descendant from Acadian. So yeah, so Acadian, that's my culture. And on August 15, you're going to see me be like, happy Acadian Day, because I'm proud to be Acadian. Um, so once again, right, there's a lot of divisionists. And for me, it is, yeah, it is French-Canadian. We have different cultures in French-Canadian, uh, just to kind of keep it short. So once again, for a lot of us, either we grew up with it, so like, you know, we're kind of more used to it. But for some of you, maybe all of a sudden, you're like, whoa like you know and hopefully for all of you i wish that every like everybody's neutral that they don't care if you're like one or the other like for me i don't i don't give a shit <laughs> i get to know the person based on them okay uh, i accept everybody i'm open to any culture any like color race whatever i really don't care i get to, but i'm also working more on a soul level i get to know who you are as a person um yeah, the Canadians became in France, yeah, because my descendants come from France, and then the English deported us. I used to, I love how you know the, 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 the history, Natalie, you're <laughs> saying it better than me. <laughs> in high school, I could have told you. Uh, perfect, my love. Um, so, yeah, so once again, so because of all of this, for some of us, we're maybe feeling we need to choose one side over the next, or if we choose a side, people are going to judge us or whatever so yeah I don't care as long as like you know me my only thing is make a decision check in with yourself make a decision based on what's best for you okay I really don't care yeah I love how some of you are like I'm neutral I don't really care because what's again but for a lot of us we have people around us that do really care I have some friends when I go back to Canada well first thing first I'm not going to be able to go to Montreal because and then now Quite a few places are instoring the vaccine passport, passport of the vaccine, which basically means if you're not fully vaccinated, you won't be able to go in restaurants, you won't be able to go like to a gym, you won't be able to do a whole bunch of things. So you, they're actually segregating you even more, um, which is why I'm not going to. Um, I'm not. That's why I'm not. I won't go to Montreal because what am I gonna do? Stay in my Airbnb for a month? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I grew and I lived in Montreal, and Montreal's beautiful. Um, so yeah, once again, there's always been division. Yeah. So once again, there's always been a division. It's always been there, but it's just now it's more like in everybody's face. Like it's there. We're, we're, but this is also part of the reawake, the reawakening process, the, the raising our consciousness, because you get to decide really like, you know, and once again, for those of you who are losing, uh, finding you, a lot of people are dropping off. This is just so, and I know when it happens at times, it can feel lonely. Once again, I've had several times where I've either had to cut ties with people or all of a sudden I have no friends around. Okay. I have two close friends that I will always be around, but once again, 
the, we're not in the same place. So for some of you, once, or for some of you, you may just want to be like, I don't want to be around anybody right now, because you're you're an empath, you're extremely sensitive, and you're picking up on everybody's stuff, and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay in my own little bubble. <laughs> that's kind of me. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in my own little bubble, and that's it. But just know and trust, you're not alone. We're, um, I think we're all being affected in different ways, and if you're an empath, you're probably affected a lot more than than anybody else is that making sense is that helping all of you oh yeah i've lost but see here's the thing for me for family i have some now that they're coming around because they saw that i i just took to my lane and some will never and some people are going to fall off temporarily and they may come back and some will just fall off but just see it this way for those of you who are losing a lot of friendships or even maybe blood family members. Hey, bonjour France, happy to have you here. Just know that's happening as well because right now there's also a massive clearing that's happening. So when that's happening, it's like, you know, it's helping you release the people that are either holding you back. Because for some of you, your people are holding you back. And you have a soul mission and a soul purpose here. And some of you, you know now you're, you're met for more. You're met to have an impact. I'm not the only one here that's met to have an impact. You're all, you're all having an impact. So once again, people are like, you know, they're falling off. And that's happening because it's allowing to make room for higher vibrational people to come in. Now for some of you, it may be for the first time in your life you're experiencing with family members. Once again, like, you know, when I, to, several times I've had to make a decision. 2017, I was like, basically, screw you. Like, I basically told my family on Facebook to go fuck themselves. Sorry for my language, but I literally told them that, okay? Something happened. It was the last straw. I never, like, they threw a surprise party for my mom. I don't live home, so they didn't invite me, and I, I just, I lost it. And a few family members, I had conversations before. I lost it on Facebook. <laughs> you know, um, once again. Now, some of them are realizing, oh, shit. Some of them are very supportive now. Some of them not, but once again, you want to have the right people around you. It's better to be alone and happy than having a bunch of people around you and you're miserable. Yeah, and less distraction from healing and discovering my mission, yeah. So once again, you're all about, yeah, I felt this for a year. No, my baby brother bought a business, and my mom is so supportive of him. And I tell my brother, it's because of me. Because <laughs> my mother, for the longest time, you should go back to corporate, you should go back to corporate, you should go back to corporate. Now she's like, you know, but once again, I stayed in my lane. I was like, I don't care. This is, this, I knew. This is what I need to do. So just know and trust you're, you're not alone. We're all going through all of this. And this is also why, once again, like, you know, I'm going to be coming in live. I'm going to be sharing away um, how I'm going to be coming in live a lot more. I blaze the trail. That's part of my, of my role, my mission here is to, like, you know, empower, impact, like, you know, inspire you, motivate you. Once again, like, you know, I'm living my sole purpose and mission. If I can do it, you can all do it. Um, so before I do the clearing, I just have a question for all of you. So I've been guided starting next week. So Monday to Friday, I would go live on my business Facebook page, okay? From Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. Cancun, which is 9 p.m. New York time. Would that be something you would like? It would be a short, maybe a 10-minute Facebook live. It would be like Coffee with Patricia. Right now with tea with Patricia. <laughs> Too early for wine unless you're in another time zone. But hey, they always say it's 5 o'clock summers, right? <laughs> um, would that be something that you would all be interested? I would just come in and talk a little bit about the energies and what's going on collectively. My business page, I will share the link. I will share the link so you guys can all go and like my business page. And I will share the, the video, the Facebook Live inside of the group as well. I'm changing the name of my, my business page, so, <laughs> but I'll share it once I have it this week. So it'll be Monday to Friday, it'll be maybe 10 minutes max, I'm going to just come in, 
channel from the Divine Light Council, who is my spirit team, for whatever message it is that is needed right now. So I miss talking to real people on the street. Yeah, that's why when I go to I, I go. That's why I go to 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 Starbucks. <laughs> it's my Fridays off. Right now, I'm 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 taking uh, Sundays off. I used to take Fridays off, but I've I. Right now, I also I'm I'm in a coaching program, and the calls are on Friday, so I can't take really Friday off. But I'm coming first thing in the morning, so after that, I'm gonna go do. Um, if you like that, I'll be very happy to join. Sounds amazing, perfect. So starting next um, Monday, let me make a note <laughs> and call it Coffee with Patricia. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking note because if not, I will forget. And I'm also going to upload these on my YouTube channel and my video, but I'll share all of that. But for those of you who are on Facebook, just, yeah, Coffee with Patricia. And I did say 9 a.m. Eastern. Well, actually, New York time. I'm not going to say Eastern because technically I am in Eastern time year-round. We don't change times here. So when I see Eastern, I get all confused. <laughs> so perfect. So I will start doing that next week. I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. Um... But I think right now it's really, really needed. So, okay, so that will get done. So, are you all ready now for me to start to do some powerful clearing around loneliness? Let me know in the chat. Drop me a yes, yes, or yes, I am ready. <laughs> if you're ready for me to start to do clearing around. So now, this is going to be something, well, some of you here know because some of you are my practitioners in ISA Energy Clearing. So I'm going to be using my ISA Energy Clearing modality today to be doing that. And I'm going to run one light code and that's it because that's what I was guided to do. So I'm ready, awesome, and it's going to be more powerful actually because I'm going to be working on a different level. Let me take a sip of my tea. So awesome. So here's some of the stuff I'm going to be. So right now, for those of you who are live, so I'm going to share what I'm going to be clearing. But I want if anything else comes up, I'll give you a minute to let me know, and then I can add it on there. And I know I normally don't do this, but I'm being guided to do this. So I'm, we're going to clear loneliness from the collective because there's so much loneliness going on from the collective, and you don't want to be holding on to collective stuff, right? Do you? I know I don't. Loneliness that's stored anywhere in your, your physical body, your chakras, your nervous systems, in your energetic field. Because once again, if you're holding on to all of that, it's going to lower your vibration. Losing friends and family members. Because for some of you, this is huge. For some of you, it's probably the first time that you're consciously aware that you're losing friends and family members. And I can tell you, the more it happens, it becomes easier. But it doesn't mean it still doesn't hurt and all of that. Because sometimes it does. Losing friends because they are choosing to get vaccinated and you're not. If that's applicable to you. And I know for quite a few of us, that is the case. Losing friends because you're choosing to get vaccinated and they're not. That, could, that can happen. And I know at least two people, that's what, what happened to them. Not being able to socialize because you choose not to get vaccinated and will not be able to go out because once again, more and more places are installing the vaccine passport. So if you're not fully vaccinated, you won't be able to, to go out. You won't be able to do anything. Or if they're going to do lockdowns, you're going to be stuck at home and everybody else will be able to go to restaurants. Once again, that's the vision that's being created from certain of the higher, from a, a certain group of people. I don't really want to name them, but a certain group of people who want to control us, right? Once again, any loneliness from due to the vaccine passport, any loneliness due to anxiety, because once again, if you're starting to feel this, it's like, oh my God, anxiety is coming up. Um, and for some of you, you're isolating yourself. You don't need to isolate, but you're, because you're feeling anxious, you're just like staying in your bubble. And it's like, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want anything else. Any loneliness due to fear. So maybe for some of you, because you have health stuff, maybe you're afraid to go out because then what happens if you catch this or whatever. And then I'll see what else comes up. So for those of you who are alive, I'm going to give you a minute. Let me know if there is anything. So Ontario is not, thank you, France, because I'm going to have to come at some point to um, close my storage. Are you near Toronto, France? 
Do I have anybody here who's in the Toronto area or the GTA area? Also known as the Greater Toronto Area for those of you who are like, what's that? Because <laughs> if any of you are, let me know because when I come to Toronto, I don't know when. Um, I, I'd like to schedule a little get together. Oh, so you're not that far. Okay, cool. I've always wanted to visit Cornwall. I've only been there because of the bus and the train. <laughs> If I have time and everything's like open, maybe I'll come and visit you. It'd be fun to hang out for the day. Well, it depends as long as I can get a train or a bus there. So is there anything right now around loneliness? For those of you who are live only, if you're catching the replay, I'm not going to be able to do it. So for those of you who are live, is there anything around loneliness that you'd love for me to be able to like clear, help you clear? Alberta is very open, including if you test positive or in contact, you don't have. I already, I already caught COVID. <laughs> caught it several months ago, <laughs> but I'm glad to hear it's open. Well, at some point, I'm gonna go to Alberta and BC because I lived in BC for several months last year before I actually before I went to move around. Sorry, you guys, crew. If we are not double vaccinated, we are told to stay in our room. We may run and get takeout. That's it. Oh, well, that sucks. Let me do some. Uh, I'm going to add that to my list, my bed. Let me add that to my list. Bring more good friends. I, I'm clearing. I don't think you want me to clear <laughs> bringing you new friends. <laughs> but at the end, I'll do something if I'm being guided and if I have time because I do have a call with... Um, one of my uh, coaches after at 3 p.m. So I want to make sure that I get that. Um, come visit. Yeah, I'll definitely come to Calgary. I have several of you here who are in Calgary. So I cannot go to Alberta and not come to Calgary. <laughs> I do need to come and see my peeps. That's okay, my love. Yes. Well, I, I lived in Surrey and uh, in Nanaimo when I was in BC. So clear ties to. Yeah, today I'm going to be focusing ex on loneliness because I don't, I can't clear everything because some of you are going to go into, so do you mean like hooks and cords live? Is that what you, what you mean? Let me know in the chat, my love. I'm really going to stick today with loneliness. I said, I'll, I'll be doing these, but clear the need to pass judgment on those who do and do not. Yeah, that would be great. Because once again, that's creating a massive division is and a lot of loneliness. Okay, so I think that's all I have for now. So once again, so I am excited. Not sure what you mean then. Well, because some of you may have a specific situation around feeling lonely. So it could be maybe you're feeling isolated or like, you know, stuff like that. That's what I meant. I mean, ties, of course, to those falling away cause us to feel loneliness. Okay, perfect, my love. Thank you for clarifying. Okay, I think we have enough because I'm going to end up, uh, I, and I don't want to have to rush it, but once again, you all know I'm going to be doing these regularly. I come here at least once a week to do some healing, and I'll probably come in another time this week. Abandonment and grief associated with it. Let's see if that comes up. So perfect, my love. So now I'm going to start doing, once again, if you're catching the replay, I will not be able to clear what you've requested because once again, this is, I am um, doing a Facebook Live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, Vimeo, or SoundCloud, I'm not going to be able to do anything because once again, it's, um, this was originally appeared in my Facebook group, Money Mindset, Magic, and Manifestation with Patricia Elizabeth. So... I am excited. Back from France, no job, then COVID. Okay, so that's going to be it for now, my loves, because once again, um, I'll be coming in more. I think on Mondays, I'll I'll create a post, and you can all put requests on a specific theme. Would that be beneficial for all of you? Now, if I do that, it's going to be, I'm just going to do clearing, because I, I cannot run all of my light codes on all of you. 
So now let's get started here for the clearing part. So first thing first, make sure you are in a safe place. You're not walking, driving, or operating any type of machinery. Because some of you may go in a deep trance and some of you may fall asleep. So just give yourself the gift of the next probably 15, 20, maybe 25 minutes to be in a quiet and safe place where you can fully receive all of this powerful energies. Once again, um, some of you, you may fall asleep. Some of you may not. No, you're going to get exactly what you need to get right now. So for those of you who are live, let me know in the chat that you are ready to receive these energies. If you're catching the replay, let me know below as well. I am ready to receive. And as well as if you continue watching, if you're giving me permission to tap in in your energy field and your rec and in your records. Uh, if you don't give me permission, please stop watching because by staying on, you're giving me permission to do so. And how I work in a group setting is I place everybody in a safe energetic container. And this is regardless if you're here live or not live. It doesn't matter. In this energy, this space, time doesn't exist. So I'm just going to wait for a few more. I am ready to come in. I'm going to take a sip of my tea. And we're going to get started. Hey, my love. Happy to have you here. As well as just an FYI, for those of you uh, who are maybe new to my, my world, you may start to hear me. Well, first thing first, my hands are going to be doing all sort of things because I do light codes, um, light language, as well as, um, where else? As well as you may hear me speak a foreign language outside of French. So I'm fluently bilingual, français, English. I'm slowly learning um, Spanish, espanol. <laughs> Make sure I say espanol because if not, Blanca will come in. <laughs> she'll, she'll hit me when she sees me. <laughs> um, so once again, you may hear me speak a foreign language. I also speak light language. Or you may hear me doing like toning and stuff like that. That is just light language. So just know that it's just I'm. It's working on a deeper level, and I'm actually allows me to also um, to to speak directly to your soul. So it works on a power more powerful level. So let's get started, my loves, because you all know I can talk a whole lot. <laughs> So start by finding a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Close your eyes. Now I want to start by taking three nice deep breaths. Inhale for the count of four, three, two, one. Hold it in as long as you can. And then slowly exhale from your mouth for the count of four, three, two, one. Take another deep breath in. Hold it in as long as you can. And then slowly exhale from your mouth. So, ah. And take another deep breath in. Hold it in for as long as you can. And then slowly exhale from your mouth. So, ah. So now you're fully present, you're fully relaxed, you're fully in your body. Go ahead and call back all parts and pieces of you, anywhere you or your attention is off to, back into your heart space so that all of you can receive these magical clearing energies. Now go ahead and drop into your heart space. And this is a sacred space right below your heart chakra. Now don't worry if you do not know exactly where this is because your higher self knows exactly where it's located and it will guide you perfectly there. Now go ahead and see, feel, or imagine a beautiful beam of red light going out of your heart space. And it's going down, going through your solar plexus chakra. And it's going down through your sacral chakra. And it's going down through your root chakra. And it's going out of the base of your spine. And it's going down, down, down. Going through all the layers of Mother Earth. Until you see, feel, or imagine a beautiful crystal ball. And this is the crystalline energies of the heart chakra of Mother Earth. 
Now, seriously, I want you to see, feel, or imagine a beautiful beam of golden light going from your heart space. And it's going up, going through your heart chakra. It's going up through your throat chakra. And it's going up through your third eye chakra. Going up through your crown chakra. And now this beam of golden light is being pulled out from your crown chakra, which is on top of your head. And it's going up, 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 connecting to your beautiful soul star chakra. And it keeps going up, 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 going through and past your spirit chakra. And it keeps going up, 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 going through and past your universal chakra. And going up, 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 going through and past your galactic chakra. And going up, up, up until you reach your divine gateway chakra. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath in and center yourself back into your heart space. And you're now fully connected to Mother Earth while seamlessly being fully connected to your divine gateway chakra. And you're now fully connected, supported, protected, loved, and grounded. Now go ahead and take a nice deep breath in and feel your heart space expands out more and more as it starts to fully prepare itself to receiving these powerful ISA energy clearing energies. So before I start to do today's energy clearing, I'm just going to call in and invite your team of guides, healers, galactic beings, and any beings of 100% pure light who would like to join you today in receiving these high vibrational energies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. We are super blessed and excited you're all here with us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we know for some of you, you're going to see your team. Some of you will feel them. Some of you will hear them. Some of you will sense them. And some of you will just know they're here. But regardless of what you are experiencing or not experiencing, just know and trust your whole team's here with you. In fact, they are always here with you. For some of you, these energies may become too strong or too intense while I'm running them. If this is the case, you can ask your team to slow them down in a way you can manage them. And if you're not feeling these energies, you can also ask your team to speed to speed them up so you can feel them. Because remember, you are in full control, and especially in this realm. So continue to take a nice deep breaths, knowing you're fully connected, supported, protected, and loved right now. So divine source, please, please clear, delete, and dissolve loneliness from the collective. Please dissolve this on all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on in the collective. In any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. Ooh, so just going to take a nice deep breath and feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter as you're dissolving all of this loneliness that's not even your own. Just know you're not responsible to hold on to this, so just let it go. Give yourself permission to dissolve all of this right now. Continue to take a nice deep breath, and I'm just going to let this run a little, deep, little bit longer here, just so it can work on a deeper level. And remember, you're fully connected, supported, grounded, loved, and protected right now. <sighs> and divine source, please start to run the ISA light code dissolving loneliness now. Thank you. 
Just allow this light coat to start to dissolve any loneliness that you're experiencing. Once again, I'm just going to be silent for a few moments here just to really allow this to work on a deeper level. Take a nice deep breath and feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter as you let it go of all of this that's no longer serving you. Because you get to decide what serves you or not. So why not just let it go if it's holding you back? And Divine Source, please delete, clear, and dissolve loneliness. Please dissolve this on all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on from the collective, and any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etheric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. Ooh, so let's get you to take a nice deep breath. And I'm just going to be silent for a few moments here just to allow this to work on a deeper level. So Divine Source, please delete, clear, dissolve, losing friends and family members. So any emotions that's coming up from that, so feeling lonely, maybe angry, upset, pissed off, rejected, abandoned. Let's clear and dissolve all of this in all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on from the collective and any place this is stored in your physical body chakras, nervous systems, etheric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. Oh, so continue to take a nice deep breath, knowing you're fully connected, supported, protected, and loved. Continue to take a nice deep breath, feeling yourself becoming lighter and lighter. And Divine Source, please delete, clear, and dissolve losing friends because they're choosing to get vaccinated and you choose not to, as well as any lower energy, so maybe feeling abandoned, rejected, loneliness angry, etc. Et Let's clear this off all of this on all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on from the collective and any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etheric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. Whew.
<sighs> so divine source, please delete clearing this off. Losing friends because you're choosing to get vaccinated and they're not. And maybe you're feeling angry, upset, rejected, blame, judgment, etc. Let's clear this off all of this in all timelines, dimensions, realities. Anytime this is taking on from the collective and any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. And divine source, please delete clearing this off. Feeling lonely because you're not going to be able to socialize because you choose not to get vaccinated and will not be able to go out or you'll have nobody to hang out with. Let's clear and dissolve this on all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on from the collective. In any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. <sighs> So I'm just going to be silent for a good minute here because I'm being called to let this run on a deeper level. Divine source, please delete clearing this off. Any loneliness from the vaccine passport, any loneliness due to anxiety, any loneliness due to fear, any loneliness because you choose not to get vaccinated, or any loneliness because you choose to get vaccinated. Let's clear and off all of this in all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on from the collective, and any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etric body, cellular memories, DNA, and anywhere else in the energetic bodies. Now, thank you. So I'm just going to let this run here. So could you take a nice deep breath? Knowing you're fully connected, supported. And Divine Source, please delete clearing this off. So if you're going either for your job or for travel, if you um, go visit a certain place, uh, if you're not double vaccinated, then you're gonna you're you're told that you need to stay in your room. You may maybe go for, out quickly for exercise and get takeout, but then you're gonna have to be like you know stuck in your room. You're not gonna be able to go to the pool or go to the ocean or go eat with restaurants or even go and have a coffee or socializing. You're gonna be stuck in your room. Let's clear this off. All of this and all timelines, dimensions, realities. Any time this is stored in your physical body and take you off from the collective. Now, thank you.
Just going to take a nice deep breath and feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter. The Divine Source please delete, clear, and dissolve the need to pass judgment on those who do or those who do not get vaccinated. So let's clear and dissolve this on all timelines, dimensions, realities, any time this is taking on from the collective, and any place this is stored in your physical body, chakras, nervous systems, etheric body, cellular memory, DNA, and anywhere else in your energetic bodies. Now... Thank you. I'm just going to take a nice deep breath, knowing you're fully connected, supported, protected, loved, and grounded. So Divine Source, please delete, clear, and dissolve any hooks, cores, attachments, um, to those falling away because they're, which is causing you to feel loneliness, as well as a, a dissolve any hooks and cords from people who are just going away for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you're not experiencing it, but it's still their, part of their energy is still in your energy field. So let's go and dissolve this on all time lives, to bitches, realities. Now, thank you. So for some of you right now, you may actually see, feel, or you can feel the, or know that Archangel Michael is here right now. Because Archangel Michael, one of his role is to dissolve hooks and cords. For some of you right now, I'm seeing there's purple around you. If that's the case, it's more than likely Archangel Michael. And for some of you, it could be another member of your spirit team. So I'm just going to be silent for a good minute here so we can dissolve as many hooks, cords, or ties right now, which is in your highest good and healing. And Divine Source, please start to run the ISA Light Code Energetic Flush now. Thank you. Just allow this powerful light code to flush out any stuck or stagnant energies that was created from today's clearing, as well as anything that's already stuck in your hole, anywhere in your energetic field. For some of you, you can see a beautiful swirl of light that's coming down and it's just cleansing your whole energy field. So maybe you can feel it, maybe you can sense it. But just know and trust this powerful light code is working its magic on you. So continue to take a nice deep breaths. And feel yourself being re-energized and feeling great and empowered. And just know you're never alone because you, no matter what's going on, you always have your team here with you. Now go ahead and say thank you to your team for their assistance today. You maybe want to give them a big, big hug. So Divine Source, please continue to run these energies for as long as needed. Please clear, close, and seal this on any and all timelines, dimensions, realities. Please fully align and integrate permanently all of these magical energies and shifts and bring them to everybody's physical 3D body now. Thank you. 
So go ahead and start by taking a nice deep breath in and feel yourself being fully in your heart space. Take another deep breath in and feel yourself being back fully in your body. Take another deep breath in and feel yourself being back fully in your body. You're fully in the room that you are in. Take one last deep breath in and wiggle your hands and your feet and move your body here. Just to make sure your back breath will also allow all of this energy to flow through your body. And when you're ready, take another deep breath in and open your eyes. For those of you who are alive, let me know how you feeling. How was that? And I think I went a little bit longer than I was supposed to, but hey, it's okay. As long as it helped all of you. Um, while I wait for people to come on, if you're watching the replay, let me know below as well. Like some of you have a tendency to just say thank you. Please let me know what's coming up. Give me feedback. Because again, the more you interact, the more you're going to get out of me. Because I was only supposed to come here for 20 minutes and it, we're going on an hour, which is, which is cool. So a few things to help you to better process these energies. First thing first, make sure you're very well hydrated. Drink lots of water. Okay. So maybe, maybe I drink a lot of water, but I'm thirsty. Drink more. You may want to take uh, spend time with Mother Nature. Um, you know, exercise, move your body because that's going to allow all of these energies to, you know, move through. Lots of burping, lots of release in my high heart. Yay, I'm happy you're feeling lighter. My pleasure, my love. Happy you're able to join me live. As well, once again, take take time daily to ground yourself. Take really nice, deep breath. Because once again, for some of you, because you're not grounded, you're having a more difficult time to, and plus you go out of your body to be able to handle all of this. So let me all know, my loves, how are you all doing? Hopefully you're all still with me. I know once again, I'm going on almost an hour, but I'm cool that my lungs took a lot of healing. Awesome. Tons of yawning and less tired than before clearing. Yay! I love that. Um, so just a reminder, I'm not going to talk long. So... I know quite a few feel relaxed, need a nap now. My pleasure, France. Excited you were able to hear. Um, so just a few things. For those of you who are being called, I'd love to invite you to join me and raise your vibration six-week container. One of the meditations you're going to get is around loneliness. So we're really going to clear loneliness on like a, on a collective as well as in any where you're stored. And then we're going to raise your vibration. So once again, the link is on top. We start on August 23rd. But I know the price right now is full payment of $88. I do have a payment plan, and I think sometime next week it's going up to $111, so it's cool. So deep class, I didn't think I was lonely, but tears were flowing because I have been crying. For yeah, that is possible for some of you right now, especially my impact. You may be holding on to collective stuff. So your light language made my third eye feet and root chakra tingle. Did I, like... See, I'm, I, I, I've been doing light language for a long time. It's just now I'm comfortable. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Lots of colors, all except root chakras, L soul plexus, which is a bit surprising. Okay, you need exactly what you need. So, yeah, so for those of you who are being called, I'd love to have you come join me and raise your vibration. It's six weeks. It's going to be very powerful. The link is on top. You can go check out all the details. It's all in there. Um... He has the tears from the outer corner of my eyes, swinging him back and forth to most of it. Hey, Paula, happy to have you here. So once again, like, make sure you take really good care of yourself. Um, Self-care right now is going to be super, super critical. And for those of you who are being challenged, once again, focus on what it is that you're manifesting. Because we're once again, we're still in the powerful Lionsgate portal energies. Is We're in that energy until the August of 12th. So right now we're able to manifest like this. Timelines, like everything is shifting very quickly. So make sure you're focusing on what it is you're trying, to, what you want to create, not what you don't want in your life. And that includes your emotions. Now, yes, we do need to like, exp you know, we do need to feel our emotions. We can't just keep shoving them down because they will come up at some point and it won't be pretty. But still, just make sure to do all of that. So Lots of love, ladies. So I will post sometime this week uh, for my business page. So once again, Monday to Fridays, I'll be starting to come in uh, on my business page. I will share the link because I have to make changes to it um, to reflect my new change of direction. Um, so once again, I'll share all the information. I will be coming back live here Wednesday, August 11th at 1 p.m. Cancun, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. 
and then after that I'm going to come in consistently it's just this week it's been crazy I've had to change around so you'll know when I'm coming in live so let me know how you all do it thank you for all of you who were here this is the most powerful ever wage and wage of different color. I love that thank you for sharing my love so once again I have to go because I have um now I'm getting healing work done from one of my teachers. <laughs> it's my job. So my pleasure, Natalie. You too have a good day. I'm happy you're able to come in live. And I'll speak to you all very soon, my loves. Bye for now.